Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of What Not To Render, the show that makes mistakes so that you don't have to. Today I will not be rendering the film back. Film back is a little setting found in camera parameters and sensor, and it's down here under resolution. Now film back is a setting which is inside Maxwell Render because Maxwell Render is so closely linked to photography. You are simply expected to pop in a film back setting and come out with the desired result. Unfortunately that's not often the case especially with students who have little or no background in photography at all. And what I often see people do when they reach the sensor tab is go to the presets. And they click on a preset and they look and they see lots of nice camera manufacturer names and they pick a nice one. Canon, DSLR, EOS 5D Mark II. Ooh, I've heard of that. I'll pick that. And they think everything is hunky-dory and that their resolution is now set. This is not the case. Because Maxwell Render is a physically based render, the film back is literally the size of the sensor that Maxwell Render is simulating. And if I increase the size of the film back with this little arrow here, there are two things you'll notice. First of all, the preset will change back to custom because it's no longer set to EOS 5D Mark II. And also, the view will change in the viewport, despite the fact that the aspect ratio of the film back is locked. So as I increase the size of the sensor effectively, you'll notice that my view appears to be zooming out. It's not really zooming out or dollying. My focal length is exactly the same, and my camera isn't moving. But my sensor size is increasing, and as a result, my angle of view is increasing. And if I turn on the fire engine, and then keep increasing the film back, you'll see the effect that this has. So now I've put my film back all the way up to 120 by 80 millimeters. So this is now a really, really big sensor. And what you're looking at in the fire window and the viewport is the effect that you would get if you used a camera with these settings of a really massive sensor and a 50 millimeter focal length. So what's my point here? What's the moral of the story? Well, don't allow yourself to be confused by film back. Pop it down to 36, which is the default, and don't worry about it. Worry about the resolution if you're new to Maxwell Render. And speaking of resolution, my resolution is now 1920 by 1280. Why is that? It's because earlier I went to preset Canon DSLR EOS 5D Mark II. And it changed my film back and in doing so it changed my resolution. So it's now no longer the resolution that I want. If I want to go back to the resolution I want, I've got to unlock the ratio and change my resolution back down to 1080. My film back will automatically adjust, as it always would. So that's this week's What Not To Render tip. Don't worry about film back and don't worry about presets. Concentrate on getting the correct resolution. Any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below or email me at maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com or tweet me at jcolman underscore design. Thanks very much. I'll see you again soon.